Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. We're going to make a wedding card with a bunch of silver embossing on it and layered hearts. It's going to be very romantic, hopefully. I hope you'll stay tuned. So, I'm going to make a card. I'm using these dies that are from Spellbinders Nest Abilities, classic scalloped hearts, and it's cool because they get an impression. I don't know, can you see it in the picture? There's a cool impression on the sides of these. So you can really see it, I think, on the silver one. Sorry for the glare, but you can see the edges are really pretty. So I've already done this just because I wanted a starting point, and I'm going to put this in the center of our card. But I also thought about using my peg stamps, and I have a lot of heart peg stamps well enough to make it work. And I really like this little wee one with a bunch of them randomly around the edges of it. So I thought what I would do is I would um, emboss silver hearts all over the front of this card, well all over the edges of the front of this card because I want to make sure that, uh, that I don't waste a lot underneath where you won't be able to see it, you know, under that big center heart. I, that would be kind of foolish and a lot of work that you don't need to do. So this is the stamp once I've trimmed it. I just want to make sure that only the hearts um, were standing up. Oh, and I also did the inside design, wishing you a wonderful new beginning and love to last a lifetime. My stamps I'm using all are coming from Wedding Elegance, a very old Stampin' Up! set that I bought from eBay for this wedding in particular. And I'm going to use Wedding Wishes in the front somewhere, like maybe there. And in the meantime, let me get my pouch. Uh, when I did my Dollar Tree visit, I used two knee highs that were old. And, uh, of course, they were washed, not my dirty feet in them. But anyway, I put some cornstarch in it, and then I knotted them and cut the excess off. And this has worked for me for years. Love it. Got to be honest. Got that tip. Originally, the idea came from Lindsay, the frugal crafter, who made her own, but she didn't go as far as to use a knee high. She actually has some sewing skills, which I do not. So she used uh, her shoes, I think, muslin, and did it with muslin. Anyway, so I have some burst mark ink here, and I'm going to start up here in the top corner and try and rotate this stamp. I don't really want to overlap if I can avoid them. Turn it as I go. If I miss an area, that's okay. I would rather miss an area than overlap a couple of hearts. I just think that would look really bad if I overlapped. So I'm trying to just go around the edge. And every time I do it, I'm turning it just a little bit. Well. Let's get a piece of scrap paper and see what we've got. So I've got my scrap paper, and I'm just going to cover this. We'll see how we did. doesn't look like I... Oh, no, I just missed a little bit of the... looks pretty good. It looks like a butterfly. <laughs> Man, I'm talented! Have you ever seen anything that talented? Going for a heart and you get a butterfly. I don't know what I was doing. All right, I want to take a brush and get some of the extra off because I don't like it there. I'm going to get rid of the ones that I don't like. If there's one that's just kind of weird, like right in there, I don't like that one. I can always put more in later, but if they don't look like a, a heart now, that's not going to change once we do the, um, you know, I heat the em heat embossing. I'm going to keep the rest of this because what I want to do is make sure that these areas dry because in order for us to be able to re-stamp over it, we're going to have to make sure that these spots are completely dried off. If I do, I do, though. Did pretty 
good. I don't have a lot of excess hanging around. Not terrible. Let's see, once I get this on it, I think I might do some of these hearts. Let's just try one of them and see how it goes. And then if it looks stupid, then we go on to plan B. And I think I'm going to get my tweezers for this. the very bottom. And the ones that overlap the heart that we did originally, you just take a paintbrush and you get rid of them. Just like that. Kind of cool. And When I did a lot better job of getting getting them on, didn't I? Ooh, almost got one in the middle. Got a little heart right in the middle of our other heart that we don't want one in. Clearly, I need to put more on the other one, though. I really like this one. I think it's fun. This piece that I'm going to put right there. I kind of like that. And I might move it a little bit this way because I have to have enough room for that sentiment, wedding wishes. So I do think I'm going to have to move it over this way a little bit. Or maybe I should move it this way a little bit. No, I have a better. I thought about putting that in a heart as well, but I think that's too many hearts. So we're, let's stick this down. I'm just putting it on all those little scallops. Just a little bit on each scallop, just to ensure that it stays glued down. And you want to make sure you put it in the middle as well. You want it everywhere. A little glue everywhere doesn't hurt anybody. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put it right there. Sorry for the big um, glare. This piece is the piece I thought I'd put up on foam dots. Do I want to put it up on foam dots? I don't know. What do you think? If I put it up on the foam dots you get at the Dollar Tree, they're not very tall. And I think they're probably the best way to go because I don't want a big, uh, a huge, um, what do you call that? A lot of dimension. I don't want a ton of dimension. I just want you to know that this is not laying in the same, laying flat on the other piece. Holy cow, I'm not even making sense. That's another thing I like. I like my pieces to be flat. Like if you push on it, I don't want you to have a big, a big spot where you can push down. I'm loving it. What do you think? Are you feeling it? Obviously, I need to play with this section right here. I'm gonna just. I'm just going to put that wedding wishes on a very. I'm going to get one of these little dies that one of my friends gave me. I don't know, I think. Well, I'm going to stamp it and see which one it fits into. It's probably too much silver in this card, too. It's probably going to get annoying pretty quickly. I probably should have made that higher up so I have room for the... No, I think I can see that. I was thinking I needed room for my um, 
my die cut. And yet, I can't figure out where I threw my bottle of silver. There it is. Jeepers creepers, where I throw things. how it does. Ooh, I like it. A bit more on that S. And then I missed the S completely. There we go. Okay. Keeping in mind that all we have to do is have a nice clean impression. I don't know where I got that little spot from. Okay. Let's heat it up. Beautiful. I never thought I would use these as much as I have, but I really love them and I've been using them constantly. Kind of like the idea of a rounded one, but with, I don't really have the space for it, I don't think. And although I do have, my die cutter has a um, magnetic platform in it, and if you don't have one of those, I highly recommend them. It made my life so much easier. I don't worry about any of those sandwiches anymore. You know how you had to put this plate and that plate? Now all I do is I put that magnetic um, platform in there. And with the magnetic platform, I put the one plastic plate on top, one plastic plate on the bottom, and I'm done. Whereas before... I have, if you didn't know this, I have a Vagabond, and before I had to come up with all kinds of different things depending on the type of dies, and now I don't have any problems. Okay, this is what I'm going with. Okay, I'll be right back. So I wanted to come up with a little way to accentuate the top and bottom edge of this, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bottom in my Versamark and the top in my first mark and hopefully I get the same edge on the top and the bottom I'll just put the lid on this if I can find it there it is okay this way you end up with a little bit of dimension it offsets it so that you can you can see that this is in fact your your sentiment on the front So there it is. Loving it. I am. Making me happy. That's all I can say. Okay, then I'm going to put that right in there. And I'm putting it up on some dimensionals too. But they're going to be a little bit bigger. Every time I use these, they remind me of the ones that Lindsay has that she got with her kids um, puzzle. I'm sure you've heard that story. She, she uses these. She's been using the same glue dots for as long as I've been watching her, I swear. And um, she got them with a 3D puzzle that her kids got for Christmas one year. And it, whenever, whenever I look at these ones, that's what I think of is those ones that Lindsay uses because they have a yellow backing on them like these. Right there. And then I have all these other parts. I didn't know what I wanted to do with them, but I thought it would be fun to layer them. I have a bigger silver one and a little silver one or a little white one. I think I'm just going to wet glue them down and we'll decide if we're going to use them at all or what we're going to do. There's that one. And here's this one. Blue going everywhere on that one. Then let's go to the inside and decide if that's where I want to put some of these. I have a variety of sizes of these things, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to include all of them or not, but I do think it'll be fun to just a few of them around in the inside of the card. Maybe I'll put them on top of each other. 
maybe I'll do something like that. Yep, that's what I think I'm gonna do. Put this one down right there. And this one I'm gonna overlap like that. And put this one on the other side. I never can think of what to write in the inside of wedding cards. And this one says, wishing you a wonderful new beginning and love to last a lifetime. I think that says it all. And so you put the check inside or whatever you do, cash, check, money order, whatever. I don't know. It's right back here. This is called um, Simple Solid Heart. Of course it is. And I'm going to use the same Versamark ink and my silver embossing powder the one thing that you have to know about putting embossing powder on an envelope back like I'm doing right now is sometimes that will destroy your gluing of your envelope. Just throwing that out to you because it'll probably melt it. Okay, that's what it looks like right now. Cute. I'm going to do one more time because they're kind of waffly looking. And then I'm going to do I'll go across the bottom because, or maybe just, no, I'm going to do a few. I'll do three across the bottom. Just so we have some there, too. Where did I put that? Jeez. Yeah. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. I swear I would. A lot of people ask me where I got this. I got it from a company called Stamp Panda online. And uh, they usually have a really good coupon. I went through Groupon to get there and I got 40% off and it ended up costing me I think $22. But it's worth it because the font in it is just lovely. I, I can't even tell you how much I love that stamp. It just makes me smile. Okay, so here is the outside of our wedding card, and then here is the inside. I hope that you enjoyed this, that you'll give embossing a try if you haven't already, because it's a lot of fun, and it really makes cards look, uh, I think, very elegant or overly hearted up like this one. I hope that you'll give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.